Sorry about that, guys. I'm, I am definitely here. I had some complications going, but we are going to get it going. Come on in. Get your check-ins. It is Saturday night football. NCS 6 is Stoops. Picks up eight yards on the play. We got a big one, guys. Big 12, Oklahoma, Colorado. And Colorado's been in a slump here as of late. We'll get into that pretty soon. But right now, Oklahoma's been rolling. They're coming off a tough loss to Texas A&M last week, though. Got upset as Cooper. Coop, troop with a tough run. First down, Zion Anderson on the takedown. But Oklahoma, tough upset last week to Texas A&M, 24-21 on their home turf. So that was a pretty tough blow, but they still fall just to number seven. Still a top 10 team with just three losses on the season as DJ tries to get it outside, and it's going to be nothing. Here's Oklahoma lining back up on the 47. Trying to strike first in this ball game. First drive of the game. Sending Phillip Donald out to the right. Going to go with Coop. Coop trying to find his way. Nice little lane with Zion there on the takedown. Going to be a third and eight here. Anderson picking up his second tackle there. As you see Kyrie Johnson in the box lining up. Trips up top. Donnie Johnson. Oh, it's broken up. CJ Duffy. Duffel bag boy getting the stop number seven on the lockdown mission and it's three and out Oklahoma going to be going and kicking this one off to Colorado nice stoppage there first drive 22 strong guys hit that like button if you can subscribe if you're new and let's get this thing going Tim Ricks going to be starting out here's first drive of the game number four it's been a tough one for Colorado man these guys Dating back to week five, they had a bye, and they came out week six, lost a tough one to Texas A&M. So both of these teams have lost to Texas A&M. They lost 18-12. Then they lost to Clemson, 27-30. Then they played, and they beat Oklahoma State, but then they came out and lost to Miami and Texas back-to-back -back as Dylan Edwards is racing off to the outside with the stiff arm. Take it down on the 44, and this is the kid they got to get going. They are on a two-game losing streak. They've only won one game of their last five. So they've got to start locking in here. It's been tough for the boys up in Boulder. But Dylan Edwards getting it going here. He's been over 100 yards a game. But remember, he had a tough week last week. It was a tough outing for this kid. As Texas took these guys down 27-10. to 10. Again, in Boulder so a lot of home games on the back end of the season for Colorado just 45 yards rushing for Dylan Edwards last week and he's already out to the races he took it personal look at the speed boost to the end zone Dylan Edwards oh my goodness you can't hold him down for too long 16 attempts for 45 yards last week and he's already up to something trucking Oh, look at the speed, looking back, testing, seeing what's there, all the way unscathed. Boom, sit down. Goodness gracious, Tim Ricks loves it. Colorado, they love it in Boulder. And they're going to be trying to strike and get this upset tonight. It'll be a big-time upset to round off our good Super Saturdays. You know, it's always some madness going on in Super Saturdays. But what an amazing run from Dylan Edwards. Is Colorado on the board first. He was mad about last week. 45 yards. He took it personal. He's been getting 120 plus. Texas clamped him up to 45. Oklahoma's got to pay the price. Goodness. Donnie Johnson coming back out onto the field. DJ. First and 10 on the 25. Trying to keep things going. They'll get their seventh win on the season. If they can win here, almost picked off. You got to watch that kid. There's Devontae Marshall and Antoine Fields. Two generic corners lined up out there. They're pretty tough. Both freshmen at Colorado. Here he is out of the gun. Empty set. Dropping it off. Oh, my. Danny Johnson not on point tonight so far. Three for eight. It's been a tough one. Here he is. Let's see if he can calm down in the pocket on the third and ten. Trying to keep this drive alive. Here he is. Time to throw. No pressure so far. Here he comes, though, and he gets it out of bounds. And again, another stop for Colorado. We know this defense to be true. 
Although the record is 4-5, and five, this defense has always been tough. They've lost some pretty tough games. When you take into account, they probably should have won that 18-12 game against Texas A&M. They had a close three-point loss against Clemson. They almost stole that one on the road. Other than that, yeah, they've been beat pretty handily. I, they defeated Oklahoma State 33-15. Then they lost by 10 to Miami, and they lost by 17 to Texas. So it's been a tough road for the first-timers in the college series, but they are a work in progress, and they're still fighting. The pitch off to Dylan Edwards. He's feeling like he's going to have a day. Already 82 yards. That's crazy. First quarter action just under 11 minutes. And this kid in just a few runs at 82 yards and a touchdown. So we got to bring out our rushing meter. What do we think he'll finish? Will he break the record tonight? Will he get over 300 yards rushing at this rate? We got a flag on the play, and it's going to be against the offense. What's going on, Honcho? Armani in the building. K5 here. What up, Luke? Elijah, Samaj, Jojo Carter. What's going on, everybody? Frost in the building, too. Andy Lewis, hand off to Dylan. Dylan trying to dance, and he's taken down at the 28, third and 13. Colorado back against the wall. Empty set here for Timmy Ricks. Little Timmy. Here he has got some blocking. Dumps it off to Dawson. The grave digger tackle. Down at the 34, and Dawson going to pick up seven yards, but it is going to be short of a first. And they, too, will have to punt this one away. Not much progression there on that drive. Being stopped short pretty quickly. Oklahoma getting this ball right back for Donnie Johnson to do his thing. He's got to get back into the Donnie Dimes because right now he's not been diming. First and 10, I believe he was about three for, for nine, three for eight to start this game. So number four, he's got to lock in right now on the 21. Want to get this drive going for the Sooners. Going with Coop Troop. Oh, and Antoine Fields. There he is to the backfield. And it's going to be no gain on the play for Cooper. No gain on the play here. Tough defense from these guys in the pass. Oh, it's intercepted. There's Duffy. Duffel bag boy. He's got an interception. He's got the football in the bag on delivery for you. Look at him. Jumping the route there right on time. Look at the perfect execution. Oh, my goodness. Donnie Johnson is having a tough day right now. Colorado already in scoring position here to up this lead down on the 35. Tough offensive timeout last week as well for Cooper. I mean, he did have 76 yards on the touchdown, actually. So he did pretty well on the attempts that he had as Polly going to catch it out on the flats here for three yards on the play. Going to be second and seven. So both, both quarterbacks playing it pretty calm right now. Just a couple of passes for, Kyle, uh, for Tim Ricks himself as he's going to go with the handoff to Edwards. You know, that's been the game plan. And he's going to be stopped there, third and eight. On the 33, trying to take advantage of this interception here. Either way, they should be in good shape for a field goal. But here comes the pressure. I don't know. I don't know. This might just be a little too deep for their kicker to convert on. But we'll see if they decide to go for the field goal. And they will. Oh, actually, Mata's pretty good. He's been pretty good all season long. He's, he's, he's a pretty solid kicker. It looks short. Oh, it did look short. It is a doink. He's been a good kicker all year. I knew it was going to be pretty long, though, because I don't know. I questioned maybe even a punt. But, I mean, I'm not mad at him going for it. I'm not mad at him going for the uh, for the field goal. But it's going to be off. So we are still – Oklahoma still with a chance here. Still a one-possession ball game, not facing that two-possession ball game. Got, him, got Colorado out in the all-blacks tonight. Cooper hitting the outside strong. But he's going to be stopped shy. My boy Jay Johnson on that defense as well back there, number two. That boy dripped clean. Second and one now on the 49. Defense lining up. This Colorado defense has been bringing the pain, bringing pressure all night so far here. Kyrie Johnson leading the way. Middle linebacker dropping it off to Coop. Coop got the first down, but he stopped right away. Right on the 49. 
Just about midfield here. Oklahoma trying to make some room downfield, make their way. Another handoff to Coop Troop, and he stopped. Looks like Overseam on the takedown here, bringing up a second and nine for Johnson. Empty set. Going to dump it off to Phillip. Phillip going to be taken down at the 42, third and two now for the Sooners. They look to move the chains here with this one here, with this play. Donnie Johnson going to be looking to get this thing going. Here he is. Surveying the field. Pressure coming. Dumps it off again. Has a man and is caught on the 21. It's going to be Stoops. First down. And Oklahoma just might have made things interesting here as they look to try to get into the end zone. Trying to strike here and tie this ball game. The Sooners locking in right now. Donnie Johnson with a beautiful pass over to Stoops. Now he's going to go with Coop. Coop. Oh, it's fumbled. Oh, and Colorado is all over it. Devontae Marshall able to jump on the fumble. Cooper with a strong run, but he paid the price. Antoine Fields and then Jay Johnson coming over and, and getting on in the mix. I'm not sure who they credited that forced fumble to. Looks like Fields had him, and then looks like Jay came over and Kyrie as well. But man, oh man, we've seen an interception now, a forced fumble. Colorado's defense is locked in. Here's Tim, going to be rolling out, throwing one. Got his man, CP, wide open, breaks a tackle. And down at the 46. Colorado's cooking right now. What's going on, RHC? I see you in the building, Ramon, Maddie. The defense is definitely true. Single back, Dylan Edwards here. Tim going to take another shot at it. Rolling out, same play, same throw. Different result. Incomplete pass here. Second and 10 on the 46. Tim Ricks trying to get some looks going here for this offense through the air. They got Dylan Edwards going already. Now they're trying to get QB1 going. Gets it to Dawson. Dawson taken down right away. Just a small gain there. About three yards on the play. Third and seven. Trying to keep this drive alive. Midfield action on the 50-yard line. Be exact. Tim stepping into a pass. Beautifully done. CP3 with another catch. And it's a first down on the 39. Corey Polly and Tim Ricks linking up tonight. Three receptions for 42 yards. So this tandem here getting it going in the first half. This first quarter looking pretty good. For those two as they look to try to get a victory here is coming off a tough slump of games, tough batch of games. Here he is in the gun. Tim Ricks looking to pass once more. Going to be rolling out again. His favorite little pass, but nothing. Same result as the last pass. Similar to that one. Second and 10 on the 39. Colorado in that same situation they were in last drive where they missed the field goal right around this area but they're going to go with Dylan Edwards Dylan Edwards with a nice move oh another cut one man to beat taken down 104 yards in the first quarter it just might be a career day it might be a record breaking day gents I don't see any other way for him to go but up in this situation 104 yards in the first quarter, Tim Ricks is rocked. I don't know why these guys keep challenging the defenses. A forced fumble, but he able to jump right on the recovery. QB1. And Oklahoma missing out on an opportunity there to recover that fumble. That would have turned things around. Going back to Edwards. Edwards trying to get to the outside and taking down. Man, oh man, these guys are hidden. On Saturday night, both teams taking some crucial hits out here right now as he empties it out. See, we have set up here for Tim Ricks. Shotgun action making the call. And that's going to do it for the first quarter, guys. Twos in the chat. What's going on, Evans? I see you in here. Appreciate you joining us, man. Let's get those twos in the chats, guys. We've got a big 12 showdown. Colorado with a 7-0 lead right now. Looking to make the upset. This will put Oklahoma in some muddy waters right now at 6-3. 7-3 will look really nice, I'm sure they're thinking. Here's Tim Ricks. 
Going to be looking for the end zone, and it's out of bounds. And they are going to look to make this a two-possession ball game with the field goal from Mata. Remember, he came out and missed the last one. It was way further back than this, so he should be good. But let's see if he can seal the deal. You know, these are not promised in CS6. It's up, and it is good. Two-possession ball game here for, Oak, for Colorado as they go up 10. Twos in the chat for a 10-point lead. Number seven, Oklahoma, backs against the wall right now. Down but not out. Still plenty of ball game here to go. Still first half action. Really just getting this thing started off. As Cooper comes out onto the field, five rushes, 17 yards, and that crucial fumble that led to three points. Almost even got it back. Tim Ricks almost coughed it up there. Able to recover his own fumble. First and 10 action here for Donnie Johnson. Going to be rolling out. Nice block. Nice delivery. First down, and he's going to get the face mask. He's going to get a first and plenty more here. Going to get the Sooners down here. Let's see how they respond to the field goal. And now being down by 10, they're going to get the ball right at the 50 right away. So a nice turnaround here for Oklahoma to set this offense up pretty. First and 10 right at midfield for Donnie Johnson. Coop in the backfield, single back. Going to be looking for the handoff. Cooper taken down by Kyrie. Second and six. You got to watch these Colorado guys. These dudes are hitting out there. Got to be careful. Corey Polly in the chat. Brandon James. What's going on, fellas? Here's another handoff to Cooper. And he's smacked in the backfield. Third and nine. These buffs are bringing it on the defensive end. They are not letting up. Here's Johnson trying to keep the drive going. Danny Dimes. What does he have? He has some pressure coming his way. Is what he has. Sacked down on the 41. Colorado pushing him back. Getting him out of field goal range. And they are going to have to punt this one away. This defense is hungry. They are determined. And they want a win. Going to have to get this one back to Colorado and see if Tim Ricks can do some more damage on this defense. Here's the return. Going to be a short one down at the 16, so some tough field position to get this drive started. But, you know, these guys are locked in right now in the All Blacks. Tim Ricks feeling pretty good tonight. He's going to give it a go. 10-0 ball, ball game right now. Lead for the Buffs on, at home. Took a tough loss at home last week. Here they go with the pass. Tim over the top to Dawson. He's got him. Oh, man, down on the 44. And he's got his man, Dawson. First down for Colorado. I love when Tim Ricks makes these plays. He's one of the few quarterbacks in the nation that can throw the deep ball and put it on the money to his receivers. We've seen him do it time and time again to Corey Polly. He is not shy of throwing it deep. Here's Tim on the 44. Got him right downfield quickly. Going to go with the fake. Looking again. Over the top. Got a wide open Dawson again. Back to back. And this time they're going to pay. They are going to pay with six. Touchdown, Dawson. Colorado on the money right now. Tim Ricks is feeling it in the pocket. Dawson able to get free on Bowen for the touchdown. And I'm telling you, when we see Colorado playing to their full potential, they really give you, you know, they, they give you the feeling that they could be a top team, maybe even top 10 in the nation. But the inconsistencies of the program to start off here is just, it's been the problem. But as you see, when Tim Ricks can put it together with Dawson and Polly and Edwards and the defense is cooking with Kyrie and Duffy and these guys, it's, it's tough out there. Right now, they're looking good. I mean, a nice change of things, nice change of pace here for the offense. This is just what they wanted. This is what they needed here. They've been a bit stagnant all season long. They've been running uh, the same sets pretty much. And, it, it, you know, they were, they, they, they're trying to figure something out here. As their season is sitting at 4-5, and five, and 
I'm not too sure what they can do here sitting in that Big 12. I mean, it's been if, if they knock Oklahoma off here, that'd be four losses on Oklahoma's belt. And then Texas only team in the Big 12 that'd be sitting on just three losses. So it will be an interesting thing to see over the next couple of weeks here as we end this regular season soon. But uh, Colorado going to be fighting strong here to end off on a good note. Third and 10 now. Johnson still a little off target here on this in this ball game. Not able to get the offense downfield. Only a couple of passes, I'd say, to Phillip Donald. But other, other than that, haven't been getting it going. Hadn't even got his tight end going. Look, as soon as I say it, oh, I thought he was going to go with them. But he makes another pass. Getting it over to Stoops again for 45 yards. This is the thing. Johnson has got to get it going. He's got to start getting the Sooners downfield. What's going on, Lito? Flame in the building as well. I see y'all, boys. Colorado is all over Oklahoma right now, guys. Still a whole nother half to play, too. So they got out hot. Jay Johnson coming over with the help, making sure he goes down. Cooper having a tough night so far. Tough night for Cooper. Just approaching that 10-minute mark. They're going to empty it out. Second and 10, Johnson taking the snap. Pressure coming. Let's it go. Got his man. Stoops has been his guy tonight. 9 for 17. Maybe DJ's starting to heat up here a bit. Maybe he's starting to heat up. What's going on, Bo? Big time day from you, man. I, I seen that. I, had, I caught that one. Here's a handoff to Cooper. Jay Johnson coming down, making the stop again. What are those on his feet? He got the... I like those Jays. With the all oh, black, too, is just standing out. White gloves, tough drip, hoodie man, too. All right. I'm checking. I'm peeping. Under center for Donnie Johnson. Donnie Dimes trying to look for one, but it's not going to happen. Colorado defense has got this guy wrapped up right now. On the 44, third and nine. Another shot to keep the drive going or be pushed back here. Donnie's got the... Oh, my goodness. Yeah, this is just... This defense is insane. Duffy is out here letting them know it's all locked down. You don't have any receivers available right now. The pressure's on from the front to the secondary. Colorado's locked in. They mean business tonight. They couldn't walk out, out of here anything less than a win. They wanted a win. This is a top team in the nation, too. Oklahoma been holding strong all season. Six and three. Looking to try to get a seventh win, but Colorado looks like they're not having it. With a win here, they can go to 500. They'll be five and five on a season. Pretty rough season, but cracking 500 in the first season of a series is not too bad. Tim Ricks under pressure. Nothing there. Seven for 12, 136 yards and a touchdown. Really solid night for Tim tonight. Second and 10 on the 20 for Colorado here. Going to be working out of the gun. He's got Edwards. Edwards, nice block. Nice nine-yard gain here for Dylan. Third and one now. As they look to keep this drive going, probably a nice dump off or a nice handoff to Edwards here to convert. Here's Tim, and he's got the pass. Oh, looking for Corey Polly. Not sure why they wouldn't just make it easy and go to Edwards, but tried to find CP3, and it's going to be overthrown. Colorado forced to give this one back to Oklahoma. Just a tough call there. And Oklahoma is going to be returning this one down at the 24 to start this drive for Johnson and company. 731 left in the half. Down 17 points. Coming out here on the field trying to get this ball club going. All it takes is one to really get things rolling and we got flag on the play and it could spell more trouble for the road team indeed it is going to be a false start first and 15 going to push him back on the 19 under center is johnson he's going to go with cooper but bryson jones in the backfield for the takedown and we talk about this kid time and time again bryson jones able to get to that backfield one of the better Outside linebackers in the nation really putting in work this season. His first year in the RFL College Series. Here's Johnson. Another handoff to Cooper. Cooper, Jay Johnson all over it. This kid, Johnson, he's tough. 
Here's Donnie. Taking a snap pressure and he sacked down. That just was bad from the snap. I'm not sure if Oklahoma's line is giving up on this kid or what, but he's in for a long night if this is how they're going to keep it up. He's got no protection whatsoever on that line. For them to be able to break down like that is just crazy. Already down on the 34. Colorado already getting some good field position for Tim Ricks. The way he's been dotting this defense up. I'm not too sure what Oklahoma can do right now. Pretty pretty solid defensive team all season long. So it's, it's quite impressive how Colorado's been playing right now. But here's Tim Ricks. First play out. He's got his pass just across the middle there for three yards. Down at the 37. He's going to find Wiley. Empty set here again. Trips up top. And he's looking to let it go. Oh my gosh. He's looking to let it go. Dylan Edwards. Another crib call. Colorado. Oh boy. What are they doing? Boulder is going crazy right now. Oklahoma in shambles. <laughs> Whoa. What a first half explosion. I'm talking about, I don't know what is going on, but Colorado is feeling good tonight. It's Saturday night. They're looking for a party. The kick is up and good, and it's a 24-0 lead here and still the first half of play as Colorado has seemed to waking up here in a week 11 if they would have been playing like this the last couple of weeks they might be in a better situation they might even be number two in the big 12 but for some reason it took them this long to figure it out their only luck now is for oklahoma to lose a couple of games here's cooper going to be on the outside down at the 25 solid run second and four now just under five minutes ago in the first half and Johnny Johnson trying to get something going for the Sooners tough loss right now this would be a tough one this will crush them but they still be in good positioning as Donnie goes up top and feels there on the stop haven't been taking too many shots tonight nine for 20 very tough night out here for Oklahoma empty set third and four trying to keep the drive alive here's Johnson Quick pass. Oh, it looked like it might be short, and it is. Fourth and inches. Again, this Colorado defense staying aggressive as Diaz only able to get down about the 29 and Woods. Woods making some key stops out here for Colorado tonight. You got to get it. You got to hand it to him. Another punt, and the way this offense has been looking, man, they've been willing and dealing out here. Colorado. Tim Ricks is locked in. I'm not sure who that DB is over there on the right side, but he's getting cooked. He is getting cooked right now. They have got to figure something out because Tim Ricks is picking him apart. First and 10 now, 327, single back. They got Edwards. They got motion here on the line. They're going to go to Edwards. Nice blocking and a strong nine-yard run for Dylan Edwards for 121 yards on the night. Both games cooking right now. Air game working and the run game solid balance going for the buffs here they are again trying to convert second and one dylan edwards he's hit took a hit but he got the first down down at the 35 first and 10 now as tim ricks looking to strike again it seems just a well-oiled offense tonight here from colorado pressure is coming though they haven't been able to get to tim too much tonight that's going to be one of the rare times they've been able to get back there Got to give credit to that O-line, too. Tim Ricks has had time to make the plays and make the throws. Here he is dumping it off to Edwards. Edwards to the outside. He's been strong all night. Oh, what a stop there. Okay, third and one. Right at the two-minute mark. Able to get the stop. And let's see if, if Oklahoma can show up here and hold the line on a third and one. With Edwards being hot and Tim Ricks as well. Tim Ricks will go over the top wide open. Kyrie Washington. 
Tim Ricks has made these guys pay again and again over the top. Just a wide open pass. How is this secondary breaking down like this? Oh my goodness. Tim Ricks right now is taking the top off. I'm not sure what is happening. The secondary is not seeing it. He's just going over the top every play. Every third down. It's a complete beatdown. These guys, I'm not, I gotta, listen, this secondary need to be talked to. This is an embarrassment, Rashad Mitchell. I agree. This is not number seven material. These guys have come out tonight and really laid down. Like Colorado is just running all over them, guys. Colorado is running all over them. Tim Ricks is putting on quite the display. I was looking for my offensive player of the week. I thought I had found him, but Tim Ricks, I don't know. He's showing me something right now. Johnson now with the pressure coming his way, going to lob it up. Oh, yeah, that's going to be roughing the passer. They're going to get him for that roughing the passer. He's going to get those yards on that. And, man, I just it just it just makes me think, you know, if 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 Colorado play like this all season, it just really makes me think because I really felt like they had really a lot of potential. Here's Johnson. Oh, his man is hit, but he did catch it. And Stoops is having a actually Stoops is having quite the night. Stoops is having quite the night. 78 yards on five catches. So that has been the bright spot there for Johnson. Is he, I don't know, thought he had Jones jumping there. Oh, Jay Johnson almost with an interception. He and Diaz having a chat about it. Diaz giving him some props. Jay Johnson almost coming away with one. I know he's waiting for one. 39-yard line action here. Johnson again with a pass and a catch. It's going to be Carlos Diaz. Third and three now. As we work our way under a minute left in this first half. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going crazy, Armani. It's one of those nights. Colorado locked in and another nice pass to Diaz. Oklahoma making their way down, trying to get some points on the board before the half here. It's just been a complete beatdown up in Boulder. Maybe the weather's too cold. I'm not sure what's going on, but Johnny Johnson trying to get these guys back into the game with maybe starting off with a score here, one by one. Shotgun actions, got some pressure coming, letting it fly wide open. Phillip taking a hit and a touchdown. Oh, that's how you get a touchdown if you're going to get one. Dive, smacked, end zone. Oklahoma with a little bit of life here going into the second half. Phillip Donald on the catch, the dive, taking the hit from Zion and touchdown from Oklahoma. To finally get on the board here with just 41 seconds left in the first half. And they're going to convert the PAT as well. And maybe that can get some type of momentum going. Something shaking for Oklahoma. Maybe. Do they get the ball at the at the half? Oh, actually, wait a minute. I think we've seen Donnie first. Oh, that might be. Oh, man. That is not good news. <laughs> it would have been it would have been nice if they got the ball coming out. But I don't I don't believe they do. So they're going to have to come out here and get a stop. Tim Ricks has been taking the top off in less than a couple throws. So they've got to watch the outside. Watch those receivers. Here's Tim again. Tim going at the top again. This man is out for, I don't know what he's out for. He's just out for a W. I didn't want to say too much there because Tim Ricks, he's showing out. Look at him taking shot after shot. It's a house party. Oh, man. He's trying to get it to CP over the top here, third and ten. And I mean, I guess we can, we can say for certain he's going to take another shot. Here he is. Oh, just missed his man across the middle. That would have been crucial. That would have been a nice conversion there. Tried to dive across the middle and catch it. But man, this kid is letting him fly right now. As Oklahoma's going to get this ball back. On a punt. Nice punt down at the 25. Just 21 seconds left in the first half of action, guys. 21 seconds left.
Here's Johnson looking, has time in the pocket. Let's it go to Cooper. DJ again, gonna be looking and dumps it off. Beautiful pass, gonna get him down at the 47, but just not enough time on the clock. And that was probably one of the better drives they were putting together here as we, like I said, we take another look here at the conference standings. With 23 strong still, and Maddie saying this game is over. Texas at seven and three, Oklahoma six and three, Colorado four and five. So remember, if you checked out any of your games today, you know that the teams that took losses, Colorado and Oklahoma sitting right here. Possibly Colorado go ahead and hold on to this when they go five and five. Oklahoma drops to six and four. The best they can hope for is Oklahoma having another game dropping to six and five. In Colorado winning the, their next game for six and five. So they might still be a chance here for Colorado. Their best hope is for Oklahoma to lose another game and for them to win another game. And then they own, they own the tiebreaker. So Colorado still not out. This game is crucial. And that's what Tim Ricks and the guys know that this game is still crucial and they still have a shot at a Big 12 conference championship game if they can go ahead and win it out. So this is still a big time game and this is going to be a huge this is going to be set to be a huge loss here for Oklahoma being though this is a game that could get Colorado right back into the race for that conference championship game. Let's get those threes in the chat and if they're playing this way, they just might have a chance at Texas as well. I'm not saying they do, but they just might have a chance. As you remember, Texas did beat them last week 27 to 10 on their home field in boulder so that was a tough game for these guys they lost by 17 points to texas but they could be seeing these guys again in the conference championship game after tonight if they can win it out and hope for another loss from oklahoma here's going to be a run from dylan edwards he slowed down a bit here that second quarter belonged to tim ricks first quarter belonged to dylan second quarter belonged to tim ricks Let's get those threes in the chat. Who do you think the third quarter will belong to? Will it belong to Oklahoma? Can we see a drastic change? Here's Dawson going to be taken down at the 23. 12 for 22. 272 yards. Three touchdowns for Tim Ricks. And that's all in one half of play. That's a full game right there. Third and three now. Trying to keep the drive alive. Here's Tim. Pressure coming. Let's it fly. Oh! Wiley with a rare drop. And that's going to be great news for Oklahoma as they get the stop. And they'll be getting this ball to see what this offense is looking like for their first drive of the second half. Just dropping the ball there. Nice, uh, nice placement. Tight end just couldn't hold on. Oklahoma getting some nice field to start off their second half drive on the 35. It's all up to Johnson. He's going to have to get the ball downfield. Not... You know, be careful to not take too much time off that clock. I know they want to go to Jalen Cooper a lot, as they do with the high snap. Get a fake. Donnie going with a pass right out the gate to Phillip Donald. And Oklahoma striking early in this second half. Their first play, Johnson comes out with a dagger to Phillip Donald. And I'm telling you, if this kid can put together a game here in the second half, that will be spectacular. Here they are now down on the 34, already in field goal range. Oklahoma trying to come out hot here on the road. Second half action. Johnson receiving pressure, dumps it off to Cooper. Cooper to the outside. Second and inches, Kyrie Johnson on the stop. I don't know, he might have been robbed of a first there, but that's a big time stop from K5. Second and inches on the 24, number seven team down to the number 19 team, but here they come. Cooper with a juke and a first down. Coop Troop on a mission right now. Donnie Johnson, sophomore quarterback here at Oklahoma. First and 10. Got his man in motion. Down on the 19. Hand off to Cooper. Cooper up the middle and he's taken down after five. 35 yards on the night so far. Second and five on the 15. Just under 11 minutes to go here in the third quarter. Johnny Johnson trying to put together a drive here to get his team back into this game. 
Looking for another touchdown. Here's the fake. Gonna take it himself. He's got to be careful. He had some beautiful blocking. Oh, my goodness. They knocked Jay Johnson off his feet. And the blocking was incredible. There's one block, two block, three blocks. Touchdown. Donnie Johnson with a big run in Oklahoma. Oh, wait a minute. Look at that block. Got my boy Jay backpedaling. Not there quick enough. Donnie Johnson with the big time rush. QB getting out there. And they're going to go for two here. Oklahoma trying to strike. These guys are staying confident. Here he is. Quick pass across the middle. Takes the hit in. It's going to be good. Phillip Donald holding on. Oklahoma 15 points now. So they are not going to lay down and just take the beating. It's 15-31. Two touchdowns now. You add on the two-point conversion, and the Sooners are here. They are trying to make this a game. Look how he caught this in traffic and held on. Jay Johnson got straight to him, but Philip Donald able to hold on to the football here. And they did some quick work. They got the ball around 13 minutes or so and got it into the end zone quickly. Here's Colorado. Now they're going to be having to try to respond to this. You know, the home team is feeling a little bit of pressure. Got off to that hot start. Got off to an incredible first half. And now you have to match it the second half. That's that's a tough task. But let's see if they can put it together. Tim Ricks looking excellent tonight. Going to start this drive on the 25. Oh, they got to the backfield with a nice block. Oh, and he's still out there. He's going to lose two on the play. Cooper on a takedown, second and 12. Looks like this defense is revving up here in the second half. They are tired of being shredded out there. That kid Bowen, number 25, he's been giving up route after route. Let's see if he can finally lock down. Here's a pass to Kyrie Washington. He's going to be taken down at the 28. And Tim Ricks looking at a situation here where this drive can be cut short. On the 28, third and seven. Going to have an empty set, trips up top. Here he is looking, pressure coming. Got to get rid of it. Oh, it's a dime. Oh, and it's going to be just shy. Kyrie Washington able to hold on, but he's going to be shy. And they're going to have to punt this one. And look at Oklahoma putting together a couple of stops out here and getting the ball back. They're going to have to take it one drive at a time, one possession at a time, one score at a time. And they're doing just that right now. They're going to get this ball down on a 19. And Danny Dimes... Donnie Dimes coming right back out here trying to get it going. Here he is starting this one off on the 19. Empty set. He's going to start letting this thing fly. He understands what's going on right now. Here's a snap looking. Oh, I'm not sure about that one. 226 yards passing right now for Donnie. And he's looking at a second and 10 now. Hand off to Cooper. Cooper cutting in. Taken down. Defense is swarming. Third and nine. And here's Johnson. Looking. Got a man in his cart. Stoops has been his man all night. 96 yards for D. Stoops. Cormani McLean. Not there quick enough. Route work. At his finest in Oklahoma trying to fight for a spot to clinch that Big 12 Conference Championship game against Texas. But Colorado's fighting to change the storyline. Here's Cooper with some nice footwork and a stiff arm. But Duffy there on the takedown. He was able to juke. I believe that was Kyrie or uh he able to got off. He got over on Zion Anderson. That's who it was. Sorry about that, K5. And then Jay Johnson. Also had to take a stiff arm from Coop Troop. And here he is again. Oh, Kyrie said, no, that's me. He ain't stiff arming me. <laughs> he ain't juking me. Goodness gracious. Big time hit from K5 up the middle. Third and four now. Big time down for him right now. Donnie, pressure heating up. Oh, he sacked down. Fourth and 11. I believe they are still in field goal range, though. Think he did enough to get in field goal range. Did Jeremiah Brown get into their backfield and taking down the quarterback? Danny Johnson. Danny, Danny, Danny. 
Oh man, and they knock him out. Back at the 36, no field goals for them in Colorado. If their defense is picking back up, then I, I don't know about it for Co Oklahoma. The only way that Oklahoma was going to get back in this game is if they kept it rolling offensively. But if o if Colorado's defense has caught their breath and they're locked back in, it's going to be a tough one to come by right now for Oklahoma. This is going to be a tough game to come back into. Here's Tim Ricks. Let's see if he got it going. Oh, my gosh. This kid's going to let it fly. Kyrie Washington. Not going to be able to come down with it, but oh my goodness. I don't think I've seen a quarterback just consistently air it out like this. I don't know what's gotten to Tim Ricks here, but he's just he's just tired of losing. He's tired of everything. He's just going to gun it and slug it out. They are going to have to come back with this one, though. That's going to be a holding. Of course, another strong attempt from Dylan Edwards, but they're going to bring this one back as Jack Wilty on the call here and back on the nine tim rick's gonna have to travel the distance second and 19 for the buffs taking the snap out of the gun looking has time to throw outside to edwards and he breaks a tackle but then he's knocked down at the 13 third and 15 now this kid's putting on a game 76 yards receiving as well i mean what is he not doing Here's Tim trying to keep the drive alive. He's got a long way to go. Goes deep. Oh, nice bat away. Had Kyrie Washington. He had the step. But Dolby with the dive and deflection. Getting Oklahoma the ball back. That's that defense that Oklahoma, that got him up here to number seven in the nation. Even had him higher earlier in the season a couple of times before. But that is the defense that's been showing and that's been working. Only three losses on the season. Trying to avoid a fourth here. Coming back onto the field is Cooper. 18 rushes, 43 yards. Here's Downey Johnson. Under center, Cooper in the backfield. 422. Hand off to Coop. Coop's got some nice blocking, and he's taken down second and inches. I don't know. That might be another robbery. <laughs> I think that's a first down. Second and inches on the 49. Oklahoma already looking to drive. Going to go right back to Coop. Coop getting some nice blocking. Oh, double block from this kid. Oh, my gosh. He won't go down. Number 72 was letting him have it out there. He's looking like that, uh, that Hakeem dude. The Hakeem Wallace. Here's Donnie Johnson. He's going to be looking wide open. Stoops. He stoops with another catch. This kid is locked in. They have got to get a man on him. Down on the 22, first and 10. Donnie Johnson is finding D Stoops every time down. He stays in bounds, picks up a couple more yards. And Oklahoma's trucking down this field. Under three minutes to go right here. First and 10. Johnson in the shotgun, and he's been picking this defense apart as of late. This would be a huge possession right here. Huge score just before the fourth quarter. Here he is again over the top, has a man, and it's broken up by Zion Anderson. Zaj himself, Z-A-J. Getting his hand in there and knocking it away. Second and 10 now on the 22. Donnie Johnson again, handoff to Cooper. The pressure is there. Bryson Jones, Marshall. Colorado heating up. Johnson. 15, 13, 31 ball game on the 23. Here's the fake. Looking. Oh, tried to find Philip Donald and Jay Johnson. Letting them know it's not coming this way. You go ahead and kick that field goal because you're not getting it over here. Setting up a field goal for Oklahoma as they try to go 18 right here. And they do just that. Still fighting in this game. Putting up a solid 18 points on this tough Colorado defense. And Colorado sitting on a 31 piece right now. We haven't seen 31 from Colorado since that last victory. That 33 uh, point win, or not 33 point win, but they put up 33 points against Oklahoma State. As of late, they've been struggling. They've only they scored 13 points against Miami and 10 points against Texas. So they've they've already gotten more points in this game than they've gotten over the last two games combined as dylan edwards a nice strong three-yard run that was probably the 
most difficult three yard run I've seen. Here he is in the shotgun. Tim Ricks. Let's see if he airs it out again. This kid's been throwing. Got it over to Edwards again. Nice block. One man to beat in the juke. This kid gets busy. Oh my goodness. It's like if he's going to see you one on one, he's going to beat you every time. He's too quick on the juke move, too shifty. Whenever I see someone out in front of him, I'm just like, oh, man, that's going to be a quick dip and dodge. Here's Tim dropping back, pressure coming, but he does get rid of it, and he got his man, Kyrie Washington, just a solid batch of receivers, too. You got to think, Kyrie Washington, 75 yards. Corey Polly's also a really, really good wide receiver over there, number one, CP3. So just a very solid tandem. As we get the third quarter out the way and those fours in the chat, guys. Colorado, number 19 in the nation, trying to pull this one off, guys. They are trying to get their way up the Big 12 standings with this win tonight as they look to knock Oklahoma down, possibly. Just a tough game tonight under center and look for them to run the ball in this fourth quarter as Hankerson, the backup, trying to get some motion, but he's taken down just one yard on the play. But uh, you can very well look for the Buffs to run out as much clock as possible in this fourth quarter, especially with Oklahoma trying to get back into this game. Let's see if Donnie Johnson's got it in them as they get the stop they needed. They get the stop they needed. Colorado just might get a field goal here. If I'm not mistaken, I'll have to see the field again. But I do believe they're right about there for Mata to convert here. But let's see what they decide to do here on the 38. Ah, and they're going to kick this one off. They learned their lesson from that last doink. And so Oklahoma with a nice stop. They've been getting stop after stop. That might be about three stops straight. Coming into this fourth quarter, really into the second half even. Just getting stops. Tough field position though. Just a great punt down on the seven. And Johnson got, got his work cut out. But a score here would be great. Oh my goodness, he's running a safety. Oh, it's a safety. Couldn't avoid it. And that just might do it. That might just hurt all momentum. You had to stop. You needed. All you had to do was drive down the field. And oh my goodness. A safety is just not. That's just the worst thing possible. That's the worst thing possible. I'm talking a momentum killer. Colorado it swings right back into their favor. Where they've been struggling to come across points a little bit here. Now they just get it. two easy points off the defensive effort. This defense, they deserve it. They've been working hard all night. And now they're coming out 33-18 with Tim Ricks running things. On the 28th, we're going to look for a big fourth quarter from Edwards. And he's going to come out right away. Has a block covering him in first and 10. 164 yards for Dylan Edwards. And of course, you know he's looking to have a day. Started out strong. 100 yards in the first quarter. He's looking to end this thing now. Just under 13 minutes. That clock is ticking. Single back. Another run from Colorado. More blocking. More yards. Second and seven now. And you see this Russian defense is up there. But not tonight. Dylan Edwards able to snap that streak. Snap that Russian defense. And this is a big time game in the Big 12. If anybody's in that Big 12, tonight was a crucial game with a lot on the line. And it looks like Colorado understood that assignment and they lived up to the task because even though this game's not over, they're looking in great shape. This defense is swarming. Oh my goodness. We got a fumble. You know how they get all over those quarterbacks. But... Terrible news for Oklahoma. Jaquan Vick, their middle linebacker, one of their best defensive players, probably their best defensive player, is hurt. Solid position to start the drive. Donnie Johnson over the top. Zion Anderson Jr. Zaj all over that one. Second and 10. DJ's got to lock in. His team's getting a couple opportunities here down the stretch to get back into this ball game. But he's got to complete passes, and he's got to get them going. There's a nice completed pass to Diaz. Oh, my goodness. Oklahoma starting to rev up. I'm telling you, that safety hurt. That safety was crucial. Because here they are again on another solid drive right here, looking like they might just score again. But that safety 
was terrible. Here's Donnie again. Donnie Dimes looking to throw the dimes. Oh, almost threw an interception. Antoine Fields cannot believe himself. He cannot believe he dropped that one. Down on a 21, second and 10. Here's the handoff to Cooper. Plenty of blocking. Getting shifty. Down on a 12, third and one. Oklahoma driving right now. Johnson going to be taking it himself. Got it. Oh, he just dropped the pass. He was wide open and he just dropped it. Oh, man. They're going to have to go for three here. Tough call. Tough call as they get three on the board. 21 to 33. Oklahoma fighting back in this game. And you got to think. This is the way a number seven team in the nation will fight back. You know, this is the type of fight back effort you expect to see from the higher seed, the higher ranked team. As they get Colorado down on the 23, looking to get another stop here. The defense has been locked in all second half. Looking pretty good, picking up some nice pressure. But Colorado with another score here can really just put things to bed as Tim Ricks has been locked in. Of course, they're going to go with Edwards to waste some of that clock out. Already approaching 200 yards on the day as he has another solid run for a first down and 185 yards now for Dylan Edwards. 185 yards for the young running back here. Just under 10 minutes to go. 33-21 ball game. Oklahoma fighting back in this game on the road. Here's the home team running and dipping again in a grave digger tackle. Oh my goodness. Dylan Edwards, he's going to have to calm down a bit. I don't know, man. I don't want to fumble that football now. There's been a lot of running here. Second and six now on the 39. Here's the handoff outside. Be careful. Third and seven. Look, I, I just get nervous for runners now. <laughs> I get nervous. These kids are knocking fumbles loose left and right. My boy Holiday in the building. What's going on, young Johnny Holiday? Third and seven here on the 38. Here's Tim. Oh, he had the route. Second time we've seen him do that. First time was Corey Polly. This time is going to be Kyrie just a little bit overthrown there. And Oklahoma getting that stop they needed. And I don't know, guys. Things might get spicy here. I'm watching things unfold. I don't know if you're getting the same feeling I'm getting. But Oklahoma has a chance here to really make this a classic. Oklahoma has a chance to make this a classic. Drake Stoops, seven receptions, 120 yards. He's locked in. Diaz has been locked in. Cooper has even been locked in. But right now, it's all about Donnie Johnson. Donnie Dimes, he has no time to waste on Cooper right now. He's got to let it fly. Oh, that might have been a P.I., ref. There's a lot of contact out there. It's been tough. Oh, man, this Oklahoma defense keeping Colorado true. Haven't been really getting no points on the board. That safety was crucial, though. Here's Donnie looking, going, taking a shot. He has a wide open Phillip Donald. Donald breaks a tackle. He's off to the races. He's to the 10. Phillip Donald. Oh, first and go. Here comes Oklahoma. Wow. What a game. Here come the Sooners. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Empty set. Donnie Johnson, first and goal. Working out of the gun. Got pressure coming his way. He's taken down. Way to put a stop to the madness. Got him at the 15 now. Oklahoma still at the goal line. Second and goal action. 6-37, 21-33 ball game. They've had opportunity after opportunity to get back in this ball game. They're going with Cooper. Cooper getting to the outside. Nice running. Going to get him down at the 10. Third and goal here. They've been settled on, settling on two field goals and back-to-back -back drives. Two strong drives they've had, but they had to settle for three. Let's see if this would be a third strong drive. They got to settle. Oh, here's the pressure, but Donnie gets away, and he throws the dime, and there's a touchdown to Stoops. Drake Stoops has that final touchdown piece on that stat line that he's had tonight, which is a beautiful stat line, adding that touchdown to Oklahoma. Down, but not out.
What a game here Saturday night. CS6. Let's get a hashtag league first in the chat, man. What a game. Oklahoma right back in it. 27 strong in the chat. League first. 27 to 33 ball game. Looking for 28 right now on this PAT. Oklahoma right back in it. Oh my gosh. 33 28. My boy Donnie Johnson. Donnie Dimes delivering all the dimes right now. Colorado with just about 548, 549 here. They are under pressure. And remember that safety, guys. We got to keep an eye on that safety because remember, if it wasn't for that safety, it would be a three point ball game right now. So that safety is telling the tale. That safety is, is hurting right now. On the 16, Oklahoma's defense has been top-notch all second half. This is the defense that we've been seeing all year. First half, I don't know what happened to those guys. They just let too many passes go over the top for big-time gains and touchdowns. As we get a holding on the offense, and these guys are coming right back. There's DJ Johnson in the building. What's going on, brother? But uh, it's, it's, been a, it's been a tough night, and it was a tough one in the first half, but second half, Oklahoma's clamped down, and they haven't been giving up much as CP is going to get a look here on the 14, and 300 yards now for Tim Rick, so pretty solid night for QB1. I'm not mad at it. 48 yards for CP. It's been a lovely offensive display, but it's been very stagnant. No points in the second half, just coming through a safety. Here's the pressure, and set! Oklahoma! Jay Lacey! Third and 17, and the Sooners are cooking right now. They are on the road, and they smell, they smell something. I don't know what they smell in Boulder. I don't know what they got going on out here. Oh, I don't know what they got going on. But a safety for a safety. An eye for an eye. Dion Green. <laughs> oh, week 11 has got a couple of the classics I see. A safety for a safety and Donnie Johnson warming up. Colorado letting their season unfold right before our very eyes. They had this game in the bag early. Oklahoma showing you why you got to stay in a game because you're not out. They got two receivers with over 120 plus yards receiving. Look at these kids go. Oklahoma putting together the best comeback job all year long. Here's Donnie Johnson. has been locked in in the second half. Another pass. Got his man. This quarterback has been on the move. Wait. Fumble. And they pick it up at the 40. Whoa. Colorado. Giving up a chance at the championship game if they cough this one up at home. Donnie, plenty of time in the pocket, but the sack is inevitable. Four sacks for this kid right now. He has been all over, DJ. Jeremiah Brown, four sacks and six tackles. You can't tell this kid nothing on campus. Oh my gosh. And that one was a crucial stop. Second and 19 is going to back him up here just under three minutes to go on the 31 yard line. This is a huge possession. And there's Bryson Jones. And this defense is coming to save the day. Third and 28. Bryson Jones. I keep telling you guys about this kid every week. Number nine is coming for you. What a play. Donnie is sacked again. Sack after sack after sack. Three in a row. And it smells and it spells trouble. Oh, Colorado's defense might have just saved their season. Might have saved their hopes at a Big 12 Conference Championship game. Donnie Johnson, fourth and 35. Oh, it's not going to be enough, sir. Colorado. Skull buffs. That's all I'm hearing from up here, guys. I can't hear anything but skull buffs. Oh, my gosh. Wow. 
And then they give it right there at the 25. Oh, wow. What a game. Another classic in the books, guys. Week 11 has granted us what a couple of classics. Week 11 has done that. That Tennessee-Oregon State game was one for the books. This Oklahoma comeback, one for the books. And it's not over. If they can get a stop here, which they do get a stop, they're still in this game. No timeouts, but it's still a one-possession ball game. If they score, they could still win this game with a touchdown and a PAT. Plenty time left on the clock. Plenty time for Oklahoma to turn this into an all-time classic game with a score here. I know Colorado doesn't want to hear that, but I'm here for a show. This game is far from over. 141 left on the clock. Donnie Johnson's been locked in all half. Danny Dimes. DJ4. And it's all on him. He's got two receivers cooking. Drake Stoops is cooking. Phillip Donald is cooking. Both over 120 yards receiving. It's his time to shine. He's going to drop it off to Cooper. First play. Kyrie's tracking him down. Uh-oh. Down on a 38. Remember, no timeout. So it's going to be a no huddle. Clock's rolling. They've either got to get out of bounds or throw it down and spike it. Donnie trying to make the call right now. It's been pretty loud and bolder. Donnie with a quick pass. Oh, tough defense. Tough defense. Tough defense. Great breakaway there. Second and 10 right now. And Johnson with a shot here to win it. More defense here from Antoine Fields. Nice hold, though. Nice hold onto that catch. As he's got these guys in motion, going to send them off to the opposite side. Philip Donald down here. Diaz. Big time drive, big time play here. Here's the fake pressure coming. Donnie Johnson, oh my gosh, he takes a shot at the man. Whoa! Antoine Fields, another play. This kid is incredible. I thought Anthony had it. He's looking for a P.I. I thought he had him in his hands. He dropped it. He dropped it. Here's Johnson again. Last play, fourth and five. Oh! Buys another play. I don't know how he caught it. First and 10. Another chance. 